What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are back with some shiny gold blinding Pokemon content here and uh, I'm sure a lot of you are about to be stepping back into the Pokemon world because Crown Zenith is uh, coming out. It technically comes out on the 20th, but we got these at Target. I don't know if, I, I know the ETBs come out on the 20th. Maybe these came out today or Maybe it's another example of uh, retail stores putting things out early. Um, I know some people were opening stolen product of this. That is not what this is. <laughs> we, I bought it. She bought it at Target. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm really excited to get back into this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat her on the bush for too much longer here. Um, we are doing another car unboxing today. It's been a while since we've done a car unboxing. I was getting sick of doing them, uh, but this is, I can't wait to open this. I wasn't expecting to have any today, so as soon as I, ow, as soon as I, <laughs> oh, no. as soon as I was able to secure a couple boxes, I rushed out and I just can't wait. So we're gonna get this going. At the very least, we're doing a car unboxing, but, we are using a very expensive camera, so hopefully that makes up for it. Um, we're opening the Reggie Drago box first. Of course, it has a giant card. A lot of people aren't too interested in these. They're cool. I never know really where to put them all that well. I don't really want to take these out. Does it look okay on the camera, Jess? Yeah. Looks clear and everything. Is it focusing? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. So, you know, we got Reggie Drago V, and it comes with a regular uh, Reggie Alecki in this box. And then in this box, it has Reggie Alecki V and a regular Reggie Drago, kind of interesting. So here we got these and then the code card is back here too. And then oop, the real uh, treat, of course, is the booster packs. And each one of these comes with four booster packs. It's $19.99 for these boxes. And Crown Zenith only has one pack art style, kind of interesting. This is the next, this is the latest uh, special set technically since Shining Fates. And that one had multiple pack arts. I remember it had four pack arts, so I'm not sure why they're doing it like this, this time. But the name of the game with this set, I might actually be keeping these codes. So if you're here just to scan the codes, I'm sorry. You can leave your dislike and uh, carry on. But um, the name of the game with this set is the art gallery cards go crazy. There's a million of them. There's not even any full arts and uh, rainbow arts in this set. So it's a really efficient set just to collect. And the first pack is not starting off with any luck, but that's okay. Um, with these boxes that only have four packs in them, uh, you're not quite sure if what you're gonna get. My goal is to walk away from these eight packs total with one card that I can be really excited about. Let's see if we can get there. Um, but it's very likely that we'll get at least one of the regular art gallery cards. Probably two, because those ones come in the reverse hollow slot. Uh, you can get... Oh crap! Wait guys! <laughs> Did you see it? Oh boy, did they see it on the camera? No. Okay, that's funny. Well, as I was just saying, you can get <laughs> double bangers in this set. And uh, it, it, uh, classically on this channel, I'm not good at handling the cards. And we already got a really cool Entei V. Uh, is it focusing? No, it is. Um, there we go, there's some nice glare on that. This guy's funny because he's got dim foots. <laughs> dim feet. <laughs> um, he, uh, oh, she's trying out that zoom. This doesn't want to focus. Uh. That's, that's, who cares? Um, anyway, and then also we got ourselves a Charizard uh. V-Star. So this is probably the nicest V-Star you can get as far as the regular V-Stars go because it is a Charizard. And Charizard cards of all rarities are, if you, if you care about the price, um, they always are a bit bloated in price. So this is a really awesome double banger. This is a card I can walk away with. It's one of the more notorious uh, cards from the set. People said it was really goofy at first um, because of his feet looking weird for some reason. But as it turns out, 
the, the preliminary market prices for this one is uh, he's not one of the cheaper cards. He's not super expensive, but he's definitely in the middle. So he has enough of fans out there. And also, guys, when I talk about price, I'm not one of these like quote unquote investor channels. For me, the, the only the main reason I care about price is because it means I don't have to spend that money to get it in my binder. You know, it's like if you're actually trying to fill a binder, you want to open the expensive cards too because like either you open the card or you buy the single. So obviously, I'm going to be excited to get expensive singles. I, I'd much rather pull you know, the 10 most expensive singles, and then I have to buy, you know, the 10 cheapest singles. If you get what I'm saying, that's very simplified terms, but... So anyway, that's, uh... One, two, three, four, we got the weird little V-Star markers are still here. Already feeling pretty good, we got a double banger, and one of the awesome art gallery cards, one of the funnier ones that people have been talking about online. Um... Oddish, Seal, Potion, a Aaron. Oh my Ooh. god, guys. See, this is why people like the special sets. Oh man. I so personally, the um the V-Star art gallery cards are um and here's Tingro. The V-Star art gallery cards are actually some of my favorite in the entire set. Um the artwork on them is really cool. I want the Hisar Hisarian Hisuian Zorark. Um really bad. And he is a V-Star, and the, the uh, Deoxys V-Star, and the Mewtwo V-Star. I love them the most, and the, all of the V-Stars seem to be a bit cheaper right now than the, uh, the V-Max uh, art gallery cards. So, I'm really stoked to have gotten that. And we're not even halfway through the packs yet, and I've already got three cool hits in three packs. So, we got our fourth pack here. Before we get into the second box, um, let's take a look in the book, Reading Rainbow. And so far, uh, the card quality on these seems to be a step up from a lot of the recent Pokemon sets. I have not been collecting as heavily and opening as heavily as I had been maybe if you found my channel a year or so ago. Um, but there had been some serious issues throughout the year, um, and so far what I've opened seems to be A-OK, -okay and nothing. I was kind of expecting nothing, um, three hits out of four packs is certainly good, certainly good, certainly good. Better than you, uh, could expect out of a normal set. Um, and while I open this box... I will talk about what I kind of want to get from here. I already mentioned the uh, V-Star gallery cards. Um, that, those are some of my favorites, but my top chase is probably the Gold Giratina and the Secret Rare Pikachu. Um, most people want the Pikachu and the Gold cards. Everyone probably wants the Gold Arceus, because he's supposed to be like the big boss, but for me, Giratina is my favorite Pokemon. I have a Giratina tattoo, and the last set I really collected um, before this was Lost Origins. I kind of been taking a break from the other sets, so it goes without saying. It's kind of hard to see these. Got it. It goes without saying that uh, I want that gold Giratina, but overall, I don't know. I, I might just be chipping away at this set for a couple months. Uh, they're going to be releasing additional products from Crown Zenith all the way through May. They're doing that crazy... Uh, they're doing that crazy Shining Fates thing where they, you know, this month we'll get the ETBs and these boxes and then the next month we'll get like mini tins and like premium boxes or whatever. So I'll probably just be buying an ETB a couple to a few times a month until... I feel like I am completely drained of interest and money. Um, but it'd be cool to have a binder of this set. This is the last yellow bordered set. I do have a feeling that we'll eventually see them return. Like, I don't know. It's it's too iconic and it, I don't know. Every, everything kind of comes back. Like, just like with comic book characters, you know, they'll, they'll kill off Superman, but like, is he really dead? No, he'll come back in a, a year. So, I mean, that's kind of how I feel about the yellow bordered situation. But, um, 
for now, I'm pretty excited to see the uh, the silver borders in English. I think they look really clean, especially on like art gallery cards. Um, so that's really cool. And if this is the fi if this really is the last yellow bordered set ever, oh my god, there must be a good card in here because I can't mm -hmm. open it. Um, if this really is the final yellow bordered set ever, then this will be an excellent collector's set on top of all every other reason why it's a good idea to collect this set. Um, so let's see how close to a binder we can get. Probably gonna buy a binder for this specifically uh, soon. We got the Digging Duo, we got Skrell, Helioptile. I haven't been reading off the cards, so I don't know. Kind of like just running my mouth instead. So far nothing, so it's very possible that we uh, strike out from here on out. I will say that I hope to get one cool card out of these two packs. I did say I just wanted one card to be excited about and we got three, so I'm not gonna complain, but I'd like to get one more hit, one more one more rush of dopamine to fuel my uh, brain rot, my collector gene brain rot. Dude. You gonna tell me that these this box is gonna have packs that are hard to open and have no hits? What did I do to deserve this? Let's see. Wow, it says V-Star. Electric, another digging duo. Giraffe rig, now I will stop on this. Uh, I've been playing the heck out of Scarlet and Violet lately. It took me a while to start because I was in the middle of moving. But one of my favorite things about the new game is there's finally an evolution of Giraffe Rig, and we have our like first real giraffe Pokemon ever, and giraffes are like my favorite animals. So I'm um, really stoked about that. As soon as I beat the game, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna shiny hunt for one of those. Ooh. Ooh, whoa, guys. I'm really bad at this, huh? Okay, cool. So we got one of the regular art gallery cards. This is Galarian Gallery 33 out of 70. So. <laughs> To put that into perspective, right, guys, that means there's 70 art gallery cards from this set. This is a massive set full of really cool cards. And we got a full hollow Tapu Lele. But yeah, so these ones here, in theory, are supposed to be the easier cards to pull. Now, pull rate data is not out yet because the set isn't out yet and enough packs haven't been opened to theorize on that accurately. But if it matches up with any of the other sets, these like yellow bordered are a Galarian gallery cards should be similar to like a baby shiny pool rate uh, if you've ever opened Shining Fates. Uh, you should open these about the same amount of time as a baby shiny, which if you open an ETB, you get like two, three, four of those. And these cards, which I got two of, ah, as they are not sleeved, sorry guys. <laughs> Uh, these cards are supposed to be, I would imagine, much more similar to the pull rates of like the full art shinies from Shining Fates, like the, you know, like the big uh, shiny blue ditto and so on and so forth. So I was expecting to get a few of these and uh, maybe one or zero of these, but so that's why I'm, fe I'm feeling good so far about the opening. And we're down to our final pack. Um, Final pack. Final pack magic, it's a guys. Good look. <laughs> uh, last pack magic or last pack tragic? Let me know in the comments, guys. And also, as always, hashtag no dupes. Um, it'd be a, it would be a shame if we <laughs> there's 70 Galarian Gallery cards and we managed to get a duplicate in our first opening session. But sometimes when I say things like that, it immediately comes true. So we jinxed it already. let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Really want another hit. Really need that dopamine. I have a chemical imbalance. Oh, cool. We got the signed Nessa. These are really cool. Um, and we got nothing. But hey, this is pretty sweet. This is not like a, I don't believe this is like any sort of advanced rarity. It's just a feature of like the trainer cards. Um, 
in this set. It's like, this is like a farewell to Sword and Shield and the Galar region as a whole. So I think it's really sweet and a cool concept that we have signed versions of all the favorite iconic trainers that we spent the last, what is it, two, three years? How long has it been? At least two years of uh, Sword and Shield cards. They're, they're giving us their uh, warm farewell. But, um, whew, I'm not gonna lie, this makes me wanna open more packs. That's the problem we have here. I know you guys can relate. I know we all uh, share the same sickness, which is called collecting. It can be dangerous. I, uh, so don't let it get out of control, guys. If you got if you got bills and you got a family and you got responsibilities, take care of that stuff first. <laughs> I know it could be tough. Um, I'm looking forward to opening a lot more of the set. I'm probably gonna stick to ETBs because aside from the mini tins, that's like the cheapest per pack price you can get uh, with these, and you don't end up with like. You, you know, you, we don't end up with like 20, 20 freaking jumbo cards. Um, but we'll go through the hits. We'll go through the hits. Um, out of eight packs, let me let me arrange these in the in the appropriate order. I think this is the right order. This is probably the right order. As far as how much it would cost you to buy these on TCG Player, most likely. Um, we got ourselves the Puccina. Really cute. I believe this card is part of a uh, extended, like, connected artwork with the cards next to it in the set. I forget which Pokemon they are, but like, if you put them together, they are next to each other in the same artwork. It's pretty cool. We already got the Charizard V Star, and I personally, uh, I'm just ranting. I haven't made a Pokemon video in a long time, so hopefully you guys are still sticking with me. Um, but I personally, when V Stars came out. I think they look so much better than the average VMAX card. I love the the like silver and gold and white like uh, color motif of the frame. And it kind of looks cool that the card isn't quite uh, quite a full art. It's got like a weird little text box going on with it. Um, I don't know, these really do it for me. So happy to get the Charizard V-Star. We got the funny Entei V. Um, he's not a personal favorite, but I think they're all amazing, and I don't dislike any of them. Uh, so I'm happy to get him, especially with how much people have been talking about this particular card. And we got the Regigigas V-Star. Um, this card is really awesome. It's the 55th out of 70 um, Galarian Gallery card. So we're at 3 out of 70 down, guys. I'll put a counter up on the screen. Yeah, so if you follow along with me during this... Um, or not, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put like the total at the, on the screen at the end of every video of how much of the gallery we've collected so far. And if you choose to stick around with me throughout the unboxings, you can see uh, how long it takes me to complete that journey. Um, it's, uh, it's been a nice year or so of making videos. I started this channel, well, I've had this channel for like a million years, but I started uploading on this channel during the beginning or middle of the Sword and Shield era, and uh, we're almost at a thousand subs, so it's kind of a sweet farewell to Sword and Shield for me too. 